And welcome back to Jeff Kanege live on this Thursday, Inspiration Thursday, no doubt. And very touching Thursday because cricket legend Morris Adumbe has agreed to come on the bench and spill his heart, if you will. He fell from grace, from hero to zero, but this man, despite what happened to him, he has contributed to this nation, no doubt, any way you look at it. In fact, your tweets reflect, and I'll read them in a moment after I introduce my other guest, Robert Borali, a man who has a history of his own as well. He's an admitted, what is it? Sex addiction. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Oh. And now he's a motivational speaker. He's a minister of the gospel. He's a, an actor. He's, uh, I call him the etiquette guru. Look at his dress code. Absolutely. It'll tell you that much. <laughs> and he's turned his life around despite what he went through. So yes, there are second chances definitely in life. Let me just read a couple of your tweets, really touching. Uh, Otieno <clears throat> Kennedy Moses says, I can't believe tears rolling from my eyes. I always viewed Morris as my hero. To me, you are still a hero, Morris. Pini Owacha says, no, this cannot be the great Odumbe. I watched this guy make history. Surely he deserves a second chance. Dr. Mutuku Musili says, I feel sorry for this guy. Can Kenyans do something to help him? Even a bit of a fundraiser. Frida Farida says, everybody deserves a second chance. How can Odumbe be assisted? And your tweets coming in thick and fast because at the end of the day, Kenyans are cool people after all. More, don't you agree, Robert? Oh, totally. I mean, look, whatever happened to Morris has worse things have other people have committed worse things and gotten away with it. Exactly. And the difference is that uh, Morris is a public figure. And when you're a public figure, the light is on you. So even if you have a pimple, it looks like a big uh, spot. Yes. And some people tend to over amplify it. And, and it's, it's hard being up there. The higher you go, the lonely it becomes. Mm -hmm. And, and Morris, Morris has been a hero to this country. Morris, I'll tell you without batting an eyelid, one of the most generous people I've ever met. And you said that, and you cited examples, right? You knew him oh, yes. back in the day. I went to his house in Loretto, and, and, and Morris threw a very nice barbecue for us on a Saturday afternoon, mm -hmm. and everybody came there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we ate until we could eat anymore. Uh, a lady uh, sent me an inbox from, from the UK and said, Morris, I think she was only expecting 500 shillings for Morris. She had two kids outside the Hilton, and Morris gave 10,000 shillings. To a stranger? Yes. And this lady told me, whatever he needs, I will give. And just today, I was in another shop uh, mm. where I, I get my clothes called City Designs yeah. as well. Yeah. And, and they, were t they were telling me, okay, fine. Do something. And we come, we buy uh, Maurice some clothes there. I, I need to see this guy back how he used to be. This guy would dress until dressing is jealous of him. <laughs> <laughs> and you should know something about dressing. Yeah. Oh, I try. This man dressed. Yes. This yeah. man dressed. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, Morris dressed. Morris, you, do you miss those days now? Do you miss that? I mean, all that was taken away from you. All that, yeah, they were all taken away. And, and I miss those things. I, I, I will not lie. I will not deny. Uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with, you know, putting on nice clothes like... Uh, like Robert friend, over here. You know, it's a weakness. Here. Yeah, yeah, it is, yes, yeah. You know, Don't hate the pain. Yeah, you know, you know and, and, and even you, for that matter, you know, I miss an occasional good meal. You yes. Know, yeah, I miss going out there and... And you know, just relaxing, you know, and, and those are the kind of things I miss, and those are the kind of things I wish for anybody, for that matter. And uh, the way and the manner that all these things were taken away from me is very, very sad. And then to add insult to injury is that here, my own people do not want to know me after that. It's like I became a leper, you know, I became somebody who should be discard discarded, discarded, somebody who. You know, it should not even be, at times... Like garbage. Uh, like, like garbage, garbage. yeah. Do, do, you, do you hate the world for that matter? Do you hate, mm. when you walk out on that street, mm. do you hate everything you see because of what they turned you into? Uh, it's, so, it's, it's so easy and it's very, very easy to be bitter, you know, to, to, to blame everything on society and all that. And maybe at times they just don't know, but it's, it's actually very painful. And it's a very, very thin line uh, between being sane and insane. Yeah. You know, you, you could flip any time. Yeah. To be honest with you, if, if you don't take a good grip, you know, it, it will be just a down spiral all the way. Absolutely. And Robert, I, I, 
what I really like about Morris, and you know, it's incredible that a man who, had, who was up here and now has fallen all the way down here has not committed suicide. Exactly. Has not, you know, has not given up. Yes, it's easy to give up. It's easy. And when I met Morris and he was walking towards me, I was totally broken. I was seeing a man walking like he has not eaten. I mean, this is one of the best cricketers this, country, this world has ever seen, active and healthy, walking like he's going to fall down if he gets another 20 meters. Mm. And I stopped him. And, 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 I, and I told Maurice, he's very, he said, I just need something to eat. This guy one time, I don't know if he remembers, I was a friend of mine called Douglas Mango, and he was sit in a taxi at city, city Market. And he removed $500, gave me and said, have lunch. He gave uh, Douglas $500, says, have lunch. Now, he doesn't have 100 shillings even to buy some fries. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is sad. He may have made some mistakes. Yes. I'm, I'm not here to excuse. Correct. We all make mistakes. Correct. Even in these suits of ours, we've made grievous mistakes. It's just because his has been highlighted. You understand what I'm saying? But some of the people who are now saying, oh, he spent a lot of money on alcohol, were the people who were sitting in his table while he was paying. Yeah. Same people? Yes. So people. why are they saying now that he spent too much money uh, in big hotels, yet they were the ones sitting on the table? Yes. Now, for me, the saddest thing is other people think he doesn't deserve a second chance. As long as you have blood running through your veins, you have a second. Not even second. Some of us have even gotten 50 chances. There you go. And as long as you're still alive. Yes. I mean, this guy brought joy. At some point, it was Odumbe the Great, Maurice Odumbe the Man. He has done Kenya proud. And right now, when people meet him on the streets, they cross over, then they don't want to meet him. To avoid him. Oh, no. Yeah. And I said, I'll, I'll st I mean, why, why run away from him? Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. We, we, let, let's, let's bring him back. Yeah. I mean, he brought pride to this country. And let's face it, Maurice, there are people out there who laugh at you. Mm, who laugh at you when you're down. Yes. And the same thing, you know, what, the incident that happened to me at CNN. Yes. Yeah. People were probably laughing. Oh, yeah. Saying, you know what? Sasa at Ataona. I'm a quisha. I'm a quisha. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. love to see people who are down. Mm -hmm. It's the PhD syndrome. I always talk about <laughs> pull him or her down. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what is prevalent out there. Oh, yeah. But there's some good people, man. The people know, tweeting, yeah, saying, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, Morris, hang mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Let's do a fundraiser. Let's mm -hmm. do something. Mm -hmm. What would you want? What, if you had a wish list, Morris? Mm -hmm. If you had a wish list? If I had a wish list, to be honest with you, you know, I, I, I don't want much. I just want to be comfortable. I just want to live a normal life like any other person. And I like to contribute to this society, not only in sports, but also in other aspects for that matter. I'm a sportsman and I belong uh, where sports is, 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 is played or is taking you know, place. You know? and, and that's what I like to see. I believe us Kenyans are very talented people. We are very generous and there's so much that this country can achieve. You know, I, I just want to be somewhere when I can make a difference to a few lives here and there. Yeah. That, that, that is what I want, just to promote this good, uh, to promote a good image of the country, you know, just to be a good ambassador. You still want to be involved in cricket? Well, not only cricket, but sports generally. Because Cause if I was uh, you, I would hate the sport. Yeah. Well, I would have <laughs> turned my back on the sport that mm -hmm. turned its back on me. Uh, true. You still want to take, you still uh, want to be involved? Well, well not, not in cricket per se, but as I said, sports in general, because I believe, fine, I played cricket, but I'm sure I have an idea as to how players should be treated when it comes to football or rugby for that matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the same concept. Sure. So something where we can go out there, form a commission for that matter, where legends are involved, because if you look all over the world, uh, it's people who are play the sports or any game for that matter who are running uh, respective uh, disciplines out there absolutely you know and and as i said there's still so much that we can do and i know uh with the years that are left in me i can still uh offer a lot to this country not Robert, only sports. why do we dis why do we discard our heroes remember the yeah. boxer what was his name wangila, wangila. Remember uh, him? even uh, ibrahim so bilali. bilali i hear he's yeah. in a bad state as look well. at that yeah. the problem Waraungi, is Waraungi yes tiger. yes tiger. also also a uh, bad ship Waraungi Come tiger on. What, yeah what the, what the problem is is yeah. that people hate people who have succeeded in what they would want to do but they haven't succeeded so they hate on you and we, we have a problem, we have a syndrome of bringing down the people who have brought so much joy to us. Yeah. We enjoy seeing people going down. 
You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. But as I said, he needs a second chance. Every some some of us, as I said, 50 chances. Now, what 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 I would want is that you have gone through a very difficult time. Mm -hmm. It's time to make some hard decisions. Mm -hmm. You got to look at yourself mm -hmm. and make some changes. Mm -hmm. And also now you have to start hanging around with eagles. If you are hanging around with chickens, you will forget you are, you can fly. You understand? It's it's basically you have the mechanism of a Range Rover Sport, but the mentality of a tuk tuk. Yes. So you need to understand who you are. Fine. Yes. Uh, his dressing has gone down. I mean, Morris was the guy who would dress and he was confident and you'd stand and speak and inspire people. That is not gone. It's still inside of him. It just needs to be activated again. Now. For me, I'm a believer of if you're good on the inside, you will manifest positively on the outside. Believe in yourself, you can do it. We're going to clean you up. Get a good suit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And feel, there's someone, someone says you're addressed by the way you're dressed. Hello. Mm -hmm. Jeff, I know you have a good car. Mm -hmm. When you come into a parking somewhere, they even salute. <laughs> okay. Now, hide your car yes. and take yeah. a tuk tuk. Yes. Yes. They'll ask you where's your ID. <laughs> What the ID? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But but I think the first thing is is healing from the inside. By the way, I took a tuk tuk in Malindi uh, the other day. Uh, I sure. I loved it, man. I loved it. Oh, lovely. I had shades in the camp, okay. but uh, you know, yeah. it was good. I think my daughter would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get your point. Yes. I get your point. And Morris can be cleaned up, can't he? Oh yes, totally. And you want to be cleaned up, don't I want you? To be cleaned up. I, think uh, the, the, I just I just want to be a good role model to the up and coming future kids. I, I need to be I, I need to be cleaned up. I'm ready. You know, as I said, ready and willing and able. Yeah. Because in the cricket books, in the, in the annals of history, this man's picture is there. Oh, totally. And his accolades and what he achieved for this country will always be there. Exactly. Right? And the kids look up to these kinds of people. But the ironic thing, if Maurice got a flight and went to Wales, he would be a hero. Today. Exactly. Cameras and, and all the kids would want photos and selfies with him. But when you come back home, when people see you, they cross over to the other side. Mm -hmm. You know your real friends, the ones who stand with you when everybody walks out. Yes. And believe you me, they're very, very few. Absolutely. But for me, for Morris, is yep. we, it's, it's just a matter of we can never rubbish what you've done for this country. No. Some will try and rubbish, but you have to believe in yourself. Yeah. You have to have a strong back. You were telling me the headlines when this man played in Wales. Oh, yes. It was all I, Odumbe, Odumbe. I went to his house in Loresho, if you remember. Yes. And, and I remember there was a glass, a round glass table. I've never seen so much dollars in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and on his wall, yeah. he had framed uh, newspaper cuttings in Wales. Oh, Maurice Odumbe dazzled the crowd. Maurice Odumbe did this, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Now when you see him like this, it, it, when I met him that day, yeah. it broke my heart. Yeah. And, and, and I, broke, I went somewhere and, and I told you, to be honest, I, I broke down you in, broke my, in my privacy. Correct, yes. correct. And, and, and when I put my status, I didn't put it without his permission. I actually stood with him and I said, Maurice, I'm going to put this on my wall, on my Facebook page. And as some comments were coming in, I was showing him what people are saying. I needed him to understand that if that Bishop David Moridi says something, mm. just remember if 10 people hate you, there are still 6 billion people in this world. <laughs> there are people who love you. Yes. And remain on the positive side because yes. if you dwell on the negative yes. you can't even walk no so you anybody who sees the good of you please amplify that it's easy for you to say that when this man is walking the street and he has an eaten in two three days it's yes. easy for you to say that exactly because you, you know you feel that you feel that and, and you know i drive in the streets and you know people say hello this that and they greet you because they know who you are yes. imagine if i was in this man's position the same people who say you know isn't that so and so isn't that so and so? Yes. How, how, how would you feel? And this man feels it every day. It's painful. What happens is when the light is on you, everybody laughs at your jokes. No every matter how oh, yes. horrible they are. Oh yes. Everybody will invite you for their party. But what happens when the lights go dim? Who will stand with you? I mean, when Morris even told me, I asked him, I need to get in touch. He said, I don't even have my phone. Mm -hmm. I've given it somewhere yes. for some little money. Yes, he explained that earlier on. Yes. He explained that, uh, that thingy, that yes. loan shark yeah, thing. So that I can have something to eat. And if he doesn't return the money with interest, the, the phone's phone is gone. Sold. Is that right? I mean, 
he's wearing his clothes, but they're actually they're wearing him. Yes. Do you understand? Yeah. That must change. We have very many people who are up there. And yes, we also need to understand the people who are up there right now need also to be educated on investment. Mm. So that when the time comes when you have to hang the boots, you have something to look back to yeah. and, and some strong financial backing. What do you tell what do you tell athletes out there? What do you tell people in your position who were who were where at your height? The superstars who everybody knew, the Marigas, the you know, all those guys. Who do you tell them if this was to happen? Well, uh, they just have to be careful, make sure to put enough money away, you know, so that if anything was to befall them the way it has, they have something to fall back on. And also try and get a bit of education, you know, so that at least you have security. Otherwise, uh, it will be like my, my scenario, which is not, not pleasant uh, at all, especially when you've done so much. Yeah, mm, for your country. For your country, you know, because sometimes I even say to myself, they can't even get me a job just to even make tea. Is that asking for too much, you know, so. What was your cricket number? Mm, 69, that's what I used to wear. 69? Yeah, in French I said sous or something. In French. Yeah, uh, Swaso Neuf. Uh, there you go. Swaso Neuf. Yeah. I speak the language, my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> I speak it. I'm Luya. <laughs> <laughs> they will be more good with but Can you imagine uh, that nuts. number, how valuable it would mm. be today? Mm. Number 69. At some yeah. point, people were buying T-shirts with him, his name on the back. Odumbe. Yes. Mm. It was a big thing. It was the best thing since sliced bread. Mm. <laughs> God, oh, mm. And listen to this man. Oramat Morintat says... I was in high. I was only a high school lad when I first watched Odumbe flourish for my country. Take heart, man. We love you. Thanks. It's incredible, man. Oscar Nyamwange saying, "Is the government seeing this? Do you think the government also has a role to play in recognizing the people who put the name of the country on the map? Do they have a role to play? They do have a role to play because if we leave them, if we leave these things to individuals, then we will not get anywhere. Get anywhere. And I believe it's it's the onus is on the government to make sure that their former sportsmen and sportswomen <clears throat> are taken care of. I think the onus is on the government at the end of the day because uh, the. They will not laugh at Sam Nyamaya. No. They will laugh at uh, Uhuru Kenyatta's government. Mm -hmm. Look what your government is doing to its former sportsmen and sportswomen. Sam, Sam Nyamaya will not be anywhere in the, in the picture. Yeah. So I honestly believe that uh, it's the government that should take the initiative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert, would this happen in Europe and America, even mm -hmm. South Africa for that matter? Would it happen? Oh, would they forget their, their, their heroes? Not at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, they would take it upon themselves to make sure they do not fall. Like, for example, we have to have an example with Morris. We have to bring him back up. He has to dress good. He has to feel good about himself. Whatever help he needs. I was even talking to David Ogot today. Mm. He was saying if he needs any help, the guy is willing to, to sort him out. Yeah. Because, of course, there, there are things we have to deal with on the inside. And he knows them, to be mm. honest with you. And, and if people are to help, we also have to show on our own that we're also willing to do whatever we need to do Absolutely. for our personal Absolutely. success. And I want to talk about that after the break, Maurice. Would you, obviously, you know, you said you, you, you went into drugs, you went into alcohol, you went into all these things because it's an escape. Yes. Would you be willing to go under one of these thingies that they uh, have? Absolutely. Let's talk about that after the break and also the way forward, Robert, because mm. we can't allow this to happen, man. We can't allow this to happen. At Burale One yes. is Robert's handle. Mine is at Kinanga Jeff Morris. We'll get you a tag on Twitter as well. We'll get you on Twitter back. And a bit of phone. And a bit of phone. <laughs> see you like a bambe. Uh, no, see you like a He's still smiling. Yeah. He's still smiling after all he's been through. Come on, somebody out there. I hope you're listening and watching and learning. Jeff Kananga Live continues. Keep tweeting. Tweets coming in thick and fast. It's all about second chances. Morris Adumbe deserves just that. Jeff Kinaga live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment.